or by Elia Lopian, one of the greatest proponents of the Muslim movement, points out that it is strange that among all the myriad commandments, having good character traits is not one of them. Or by Lopian answers that it is similar to a person who hires a contractor to build him a house. The agreed price includes the foundation, even though they are not mentioned, because everyone knows that it's not possible to build a house without them. Good character traits are also a prerequisite to being able to receive the Torah. The power of the Torah is that it forces us to be more thoughtful, more kind, and more truthful. There is a verse in Tehillim that reads, Truth will sprout from the earth. One of the grandchildren of the Baal Shem Tov writes that one can only perceive truth after having made himself humble. By lowering oneself to the earth, one allows the truth to sprout. We learn this great trait from Moshe Rabbeinu in this week's Torah portion. It begins, And Moshe went out to greet his father-in-law, and he bowed out to him. Moshe pays no attention to the fact that he is the great leader of the Jewish nation, and he goes to greet his father-in-law. The Sfarno explains that small-minded people do not have the ability to recognize that they are beholden to other people. But righteous people never forget, because they understand it was only through the input of others that they attained their greatness. And that is why Moshe never forgot what his father-in-law, Yisro, did for him. One of the true signs of greatness is to recognize one's depth of gratitude. And that is something we can all aspire towards, to be truly great by thinking of all those around us.